Hey YouTube, Tyler here. Today I'm going to teach you how to trade on Binance, um, transferring your coins from your Coinbase wallet. First of all, you need to create a Binance account. You're going to log in and do the initial setup. Once you get through, it's going to ask you to download an app, um, which you can have on your phone called Authenticator. This just provides you with a six-digit code, so anytime you buy and sell, you need to type in that code. It's just another uh, addition to security. So let's say you want to deposit money into your Binance account. First things first, you need to go to your funds. Click deposit withdrawals. Once you're here, you're going to have the option to deposit from Bitcoin or Litecoin or uh, even Ether. Um, I chose to do Bitcoin just to kind of demonstrate this for you guys. Uh, I deposit like 50 bucks just to kind of do this demonstration. So what I want to do is I'm going to go to deposit. You're going to uh, end up with a uh, Bitcoin deposit address. You're going to copy that. You're going to go back to your Coinbase wallet, and then you're going to want to hit send. Um, I don't have anything to send right now because I kind of just created this account to demonstrate this. Um, you're going to hit send, and you're going to end up pasting your address and send however much Bitcoin you want. I don't know. Let's say 0.5 Bitcoin. Cool. So you're going to send that over, and it's going to end up here in your Binance account. Hopefully within the next 10 minutes. I've heard it taking up to 8 hours, so uh, be patient, but it will come through. So once it's here it will show right here that you have, let's say, like I said, 0.5 Bitcoin. So now it's time to go trade. Um, you can go to the basic view or the advanced view. Uh, basic view is obviously going to be a little bit more basic. Uh, it'll show your 0.5 Bitcoin right here. And you could be like, uh, cool, I want 500 Ripple. Uh, that's XRP. If you have enough Bitcoin to purchase that, you can hit buy Ripple, submit it, and it'll show up right here in the market order under trade history. If you want to see your own personal orders, which I did just to kind of show you guys, it'll be right here. It shows that I bought um, Ripple, I bought 46 coins, and I ended up selling 45. I don't know why I didn't sell the full amount right here. Um, and then it's really that simple. So once you're done, when you hit sell on any of these, it'll transfer back to Bitcoin. So it'll put it in initially like your little Bitcoin wallet that you have on this account. Um, you can even go to the advanced view if you're if you're kind of more advanced trader and you can do the exact same thing on this platform, which is great. Um, so anyway, if you wanted to transfer it out of Binance back to your Coinbase wallet, you can go to Bitcoin because you had transferred Bitcoin into here, so you're trading with Bitcoin. Um, you're going to go to withdraw. Same thing. You're going to go back to your um, Coinbase wallet. You're going to hit receive. Receive is going to give you a... Uh, digital address, you're going to copy that and go back to your Binance account and literally just paste it. So like I said, we started out with 0.5 Bitcoin and it goes 0.5 and that's all you're going to do. And then you hit submit. It's going to ask you for that code that I brought up in the beginning, the Authenticator app. It's going to be a six digit code that you need to add um, in after you submit this. And then you're going to get a confirmation email that you're going to have to click on and um, hit basically verify that you said it's okay to sell. And that's it. Um, after you sell it from Binance, it'll show up right back in your Bitcoin wallet. That's exactly what I did. Um, it took about 15-20 minutes to show up here. That's why I kind of delayed this video. And uh, it'll show up right back here. So that's pretty much it. Um, kind of giving you a little bit personal viewpoint on the Binance. I don't like this platform. I would prefer using something else. But if you'd like to trade the new coins coming out, such as uh, Ripple that's kind of taking off right now, it is not that bad of a platform. But you definitely uh, have to be patient um, with your fees. Uh, well, fees, first of all, are about $15 if you're transferring Bitcoin. But you have to be patient with the time between the um, Bitcoin deposit into your Binance account. So if you have any questions, feel free to uh, ask me and I'll try to help you out. Thanks.